Today we're going to be taking down a Manitoba maple and while we do that we're going to be comparing a couple chainsaws. We got the old timer right here, Pool and Bro 3400. This is a 56cc saw. It's built around the early 80s, late 70s. It's a 24 inch bar with a full chisel chain. A little more thing that's been done to this thing. It's been muffler modded, has a new rings, and it's been ported. And I actually haven't run it yet in wood. So we're, that's this is kind of a test for this one. We'll see how it goes. The other one, the newer saw I have here, this is a Pool and Pro 5020. It's got a 20 inch bar with a full chisel chain, but it's a skip chain just so it can pull it a little better. The only thing that's been done to this one is it's been muffler modded. Now, a little background on the saws. This saw I picked up at Princess Auto, just the head unit, for I think 30 bucks. Ran perfectly fine. And I used it a week ago with this bar and chain cut beautifully. So I'm really happy with this one. It's nice and light. I know some people don't like these pooling saws. And honestly, the, 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 you know, the 4218 and the other series aren't that great. But this is a nice saw. It's mostly plastic, but cover here is metal, probably aluminum. This saw here, this is a Kijiji uh, special. So someone said they had a Poulin saw for sale and they had a picture of like a modern, I don't know, 2050, like a little 16 inch 40 cc or 35 cc Poulin for 20 bucks. And I thought I'll pick it up and fix it and sell it. Well, I came there and this is the one he had. And I didn't really know much about this saw, but I said, well, I'll give you 10 bucks. So I got it for 10 bucks. Now this one, I had to do a little more work. I took it apart, cleaned it all. I broke the ring and that's why it has a new ring on it. I put a new bar on. I had to put a new cover here, fuel lines and stuff. But other than that, it runs pretty good. So one thing about these saws is this saw is uh, pushing about 125 PSI when I do a compression test, which isn't that high, but I think these older saws, that's normal. Plus it's the newer rings. It might take a little bit to seat in and then it'll be higher. This one, when I put, did a compression test, I was very surprised. It was like 180, really high. Anyways, I got to sharpen this one because I used it the other week and then uh, get at her. See if we can get the old Bessie started. Ah, it's gonna be a pain, I know it. I had trouble the other day starting the spark plug was a little, it seems like it's flooding right away. But also, you have to turn it on. <laughs> that would be helpful. But now I probably flooded it. Let's see. Ah, oh, look at that. Is the brake on? Brake on. Thank you for safety, Matt. You're welcome. So what do you vote boys we cut her down with? I think the greenie. We'll cut it down with the old? Yeah. Alright. Tom, you came just in time. You're gonna cut. <laughs>
All right, let's cut some big logs with the, the old saw. You can see the this chainsaw is struggling with it fully buried. That's probably because it's a 24 inch bar, full chisel chain. Let's try the 50 20, see if it does any better. One last cut with the old timer. It did the first cut and it'll do the last. That's right. Let's take the stump down. Hey Dad, this blade can't even fit across the width.
switch saws. the old Massey to help us bring the wood to the back of our property here. Battery's almost dead. This Massey Ferguson's is like a late 60s, early 70s, but it always starts. It's gas. That helps, I suppose. All right, so what did we learn with our cutting here today? Well, the 3400, the old 3400, is still a good cutter. A lot of power, there's a lot of torque. The bar buried, I couldn't really lean on it, but that's to be expected with a 24 inch bar full chisel chain. I knew that when I bought the bar and chain. I just wanted to be able to cut full depth logs and just take my time. The 5020 Google Pro, it's a nice light saw. Same thing, bar buried, you can't push really hard. That's why I put a skip chain on this 20 inch bar, full chisel, but it works nice. I always thought, I thought, I thought that the 3400 is gonna outperform the 5020. I'm not sure, so stay tuned. We're gonna have a video. I'll be cutting some cookies between this one and this one. And lastly, the MS-170. Cut nicely. It's a nice light saw. You can almost one handle it. Not quite, but it's a nice little light saw. Cut nice. Has a 16 inch bar on it. Maybe 14, I'm not even sure. I think it's a 16 inch bar on it. And uh, it cuts good too. So, just so you know, we're going to be working on this thing also. I'm going to do a bunch of uh, upgrades on this. Fully adjustable carb, bucking spikes on here, 12 inch bar with a 0.50 chain. A little shorter so it can pull nicer. Uh, we'll be modding the muffler, we will be also changing the tensioner, I'll do a how to on that, you can change the tension so you can tension this one from the side, so stay tuned for those videos, um, and if you like these videos, please subscribe, click the like button, click the notification button. Right now, back to cleaning up the wood, so keep watching if you like. Matthew is doing the work, maybe I should just go inside for a coffee and if I come out it'll all be done. That's probably not fair though. I don't know if you noticed when we were cutting the wood as well. I left a long log, about a 20 inch wide log. That's what I'm going to use for cutting cookies on the, the bigger saws. And then we left a three foot section of about a 12 inch log, which we're going to use for testing out our upgrades on the MS-170.